And here is Lucy Hadaway, Scottish champion, fourth at the UK indoors. And looking to get a, an early marker some way beyond six metres best so far this season, 6.26. That's good That's on the board, Tony. No, it's very good board. Just lengthens a little bit, slows down into the board there. What a good opener. I mean, she must be nervous, the youngster, in this this environment, really. It's a very domestic field, but even so, it's a great crowd here today. Yes, just 18, Hadaway again, all part of the learning experience. Plenty of experience already for Jazz Soyers at the very, very top level. But uh, as we mentioned, you streamlined Jazz Soyers. Not too impressive here last week in the UK indoors, fresh off the plane just about. So trying to open with something a little bit better. A similar distance to the jump we just saw from Hadaway. Yeah, just tightens. You can see the expression on her face. She just grimaces and tightens. A good board there. Yeah, just fighting the runway a little bit. Really needs to work the speed. Having now started working with Lance Bauman in Florida, now speeds. Speeds watch is good. Yeah, Peter Stanley there, head of jumps, throws, and combined events in Britain, just helping out. Lance not here this weekend. And an opener of 619 for Soyuz. Now on to Jahisha Thomas, who is going to European Indoor, second at the UK Championships last weekend, behind Katarina Johnson-Thompson, who's not competing here today. Let's see how she can open. And just fading a little bit, just over six metres. 6.50 she's managed this season, so capable of some very, very good stuff, but it's, uh, I think, a fairly modest opener for Thomas. Yeah, plenty of room there on the board for her to improve. Sinks a little bit, unfortunately drops her feet in a little bit early. But it's the first round. So there we go, things to improve and work on something in the bank. Six women's long jump continues, and in the second round, Lucy Hadaway, 6.14 in the opening round. Good enough for uh, second place after that opening round behind Sawyers. Like it looks similar to the first round, perhaps a little bit better. Hadaway has mentioned the Scottish champion, who's fourth at the UK Championships, but just 18. Season's best and a personal best this year, indoors 6.26. And, uh, well, there we are, 6.26, equaling that season's best. Now, first sighting of Abigail Irozuru of the Sail Harrier. UK champion indoors back in 2015, a few injury problems since then. Third at the recent UK indoors. I'm chopping a little bit, but it's a, it's a good distance if it's clean. It is a white flag. A smile from Irozuru, and that may well does get the white flag, may well put her into the lead. Foul in the first round, but applause for herself. Why not? 6.49 for Irozuru, and she does go into the lead. So back to the women's long jump and Jahisha Thomas, Blackheath and Bromley. Great pace on the, on the run-up. Six or three in the opening round. This uh, second round attempt, and it's tight on the on the board, but good, very good. And it's certainly an improvement on six or three. The lead at the moment being held by Hanaway at six twenty-six in the second round, and six thirty-six. And behind, of course, uh, Iruzuru jumped six forty-nine. Now, just saw as a, a foul in round two. And looking for something from the Birmingham crowd to lift a familiar smile. It's just not quite there at the moment. We saw it in here last week in the UK indoors. Sawyers, who's capable of 671 indoors back in 2017. But again, a bit of frustration in the third round. At least it's a, a clean jump this time, but... Well, that's the second round, in fact, that is a foul from... Sawyer's just nipping the plasticine and no more, so it's so close to being very good. I'm sure it was a huge distance in, uh, in any case. Well, there we are, that was, our, that was good, that was the third round jump. 6.30, season's best time, it was a foul in the second round, but just clean in round three, and Sawyer's 6.30, getting better. Women's 3,000 continues, we head back to the women's long jump. Third round jump for Abigail Irozuru, the uh, third round. Very good, 6.49 in the second round. That's a little while ago in the third round for Irozuru. And again, looked good on the board and looks even better in the pits. And there's that smile once again. It's consistent jumping she's putting together. Yeah, it's excellent, excellent. Drops her feet in a little bit early, but jumping well. She's got the qualifying. Good takeoff here. Just, you see how quickly she sort of kicks the knee downwards. So she drives off the, the takeoff. 
We see it from front on, so she drives the knee and then drops it straight away. For me, I'd wanted to drive the knee and just block, just hold that a little bit longer, and that would take her further into the pit. But great jumping. Six metres 59 there, a season's best for her. As mentioned, that was a, a short while ago. It took the lead at the time ahead of the 6.56 from the big star, Ivana Spanovic, who had fouls in round one and round two. Still really working her way back from injury, a ruptured Achilles in the second half of last season. A familiar arms flying style. And, well, there we are, if that's a white flag, it is far closer to seven metres than anyone else has managed. Spanovic knows, doesn't give too much away, he knows there's, there's more to come. But you see the speed into the board and the way she reaches out with that distinctive leg suit of hers where she sits back. Again, a safe board, drives the knee at takeoff, just holds it a fraction longer and gets a great leg suit. Well, a former European world indoor champion, European champion outdoors. Might have been a world champion outdoors, but for the bib, and then a 6.78, season's best, and a long way into the lead now for Spanovic. Now, Jasmine Sawyers, again, asks for the support, 6.36, a season's best time in round five. Final attempt here. And again, just looking for another 20 centimetres or so. She has the standard from last year. Yeah, it looks very, very similar to her previous efforts. She has the standard, but when you have the standard from before January the 1st this year, you have to, to prove your current form and fitness. You can be selected on that standard, but you have to show that you're really in good shape as well. And uh, she's good on the board there, Tony. I'm not sure it's going to be further. It's very, very close to what she's managed so far. Now, again, looking very tense on the runway, but it's... Again, she knows, has she done enough? The interesting thing is she's not going to keep anybody out of the team. We've only got three women who have qualified and we can take three. Well, actually, we've got fourth, Katarina Johnson-Thompson, but she won't take up her place. So there'll be an interesting com conversation there. So we see a season's best, 6.36. It is an improvement. It's for the selectors to decide whether she's shown enough current form and fitness to pick her. So... Well, not good enough to threaten uh, Spanovic, who takes the victory, though, ahead of Abigail Irozuru. Great uh, competition from Irozuru and Sawyers. Has she done enough to influence the selectors' third, sixth, 